Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome back, part three. All right, it's part three, peanut butter, right? Oh, yes, all right, yeah, okay. Part three, just checking things, it's nice and bright. We changed the batteries and the light. Uh, the refrigerator just leaks. Why? Don't wanna wake up the refrigerator. He's grumpy. The neighbors finally settled down. They're no longer raging. And so we're gonna see how long this part takes. Uh, this is gonna be pretty interesting. We're gonna grab some simple things to do. We still got yellow paint, so we still got plenty of yellow paint. We're gonna put those portholes. You really can't see this. I guess I can give you a close up. Hopefully, let's see. It's like an opposite day. Okay, see, yeah, see there's some portholes up here. So you can see how it was kind of, we're getting there, you know? Getting there. So I'm gonna get a, I think this is, this is probably uh, thin enough, thin enough. So we left off. Sorry, I totally kind of just got carried away with bunk beds and just random, random ramblings there towards the end of the last part. I was almost gonna knock that thing off with the pallet. I mean, I almost don't even feel this is necessary, but I kind of like how it adds a little bit to it. Cause there's a, I'll be careful with this one. So it kind of emphasizes sort of the power of this sort of tractor beam anti-gravity sphere. That's what I've decided to call it, like anti-gravity sphere. So we're, uh, you know, I, I, I'm sorry, because I remember I said per, I was looking for the perfect poncho. And, you know, there's no such thing as perfect, I know. But, I mean, in my head, this it was the perfect poncho sort of this pattern. I think I might have seen it maybe in, like, a fish full of dollars or something. Which... Clint Eastwood, some, some old Western. Second validities of production, making sure things are... Freaking on, you can't trust. Justin Timberlake was tired of technology. Well, I can't. I can't trust technology these days. But I remember she, you know, Rio, she asked me. You know, again, to reiterate, she had asked me what I wanted to leave, most wanted to leave town with, what I would leave, what I could take with me. And I, of course, I immediately said poncho, like I said, but I think later I was thinking she might have wanted me to say, like, be romantic and say her. But quite frankly, I was just more of, I was less, in less of a romantic mood and more of a, a poncho mood. Well, also, like I said before, too, like a kind of an empanada mood, too. I'm going to go ahead and stick with this for these portholes, because... There's not a lot of room to maneuver in here. This just adds more flair and sort of convincingness that it's, uh, you know, not of this world, I guess. So I'm just trying to be sort of, I guess they're not as ovular. See, these, these can be unique because since they're supposed to be light, we don't necessarily have to be solid because lights lights aren't necessarily like light isn't solid itself so you'd be hard pressed to find some solid light you know the only the only time I've, I've seen it is in like halo they have these light bridges not bow bridges or jeff bridges but light bridges I think that's their less heavier younger brother, the same light bridges. Don't quote me on that one though, for sure. So it's cool, I like it. I mean, it's, it's looking a little like cheetah-like, but see, I'm getting off topic again, sorry. So, you know, we only knew, you know, I thought she said, we was thinking maybe I, she wanted me to say her, but we only knew each other for a week, of course, so. So we're going on this poncho, search for the poncho. And it, 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 it came into, it got into epic territory. I mean, 
it was uh, like a Lord of the Rings fellowship with a poncho kind of situation. Except, you know, we still had to acquire the poncho, and if we were to return it to Mordor, or bring it to Mordor, because, you know, it's like, and in this case, Mordor was my, my closet at home. So it's pretty crazy. We get to this, we got to that mall that I was telling you about. It was ponchos. Ponchos, Ponchos Market. And there was uh, this store, you know, they, they said they were one of the most reputable, reputable dealers in town. They dealt exclusively in ponchos. They were, it was called nothing, nothing but ponchos or ponchos are us. I think it was nothing but ponchos. But they had like, their ponchos were just, man, they were way too overpriced. They had like, the Gucci and Grey Poupon like levels of ponchos in there. I was just, honestly, I was just looking for sort of more, sort of an anchor blue sort of outpost level uh, poncho. You know, today's equivalent, I guess, should be like an Old Navy poncho. So there we go. Again, we don't, I wasn't looking to make those uh, completely solid. So we're not worried about coverage there. That's definitely two, uh, two G, two G coverage, you could say. I'm actually gonna rinse this brush because I'm gonna try to do, because we're gonna do like sort of line, a long sort of black lines that will represent sort of gravitational pull into the ship. Because like I said, the audible, the, the novice painting audible one of one million that I, I took. Instead of doing the cow, I'm gonna do, well, see, it's, it's interesting, it's an interesting fact. Apparently, space is spicy. It's spicy. That's what uh, astronauts said. I don't know, this, I don't know how they determine that. I don't know how you would taste space. They just like, take out ice, but you can't open your helmet, so. But I don't know, there's something about it. They said it's, it tastes like, or it smells even like burnt steak, and then they say it tastes, that space is spicy. Look it up, I'm telling you. It's, there's something weird about space that makes it spicy. And what I think it was is that the, this, the, the ships were never abducting cows. You know, there's chupacabras, you know, whatever. It was like, they were, I think what they were abducting is what I'm gonna be painting. And that is red and green chili peppers. Red and green chili peppers are going to be abducted because I think that's what makes space spicy is, I think space was kind of bland, apparently. And so these, these, uh, these aliens were like, we need some red and green chili peppers and where else can we get them but New Mexico. I think that's what the original aliens at Roswell, they crash landed. So they were probably fighting on the ship over which, uh, like red and green chili peppers, which one's better, which one's better, red or green. They were, that's probably what caused the crash initially. So we're just gonna bring this, again, we're gonna try to get straight, keep it straight. Gotta go kind of slow. So chili peppers to me makes way more sense than the cow. Again, these aliens, my speculation is that they initially crashed in Roswell, New Mexico because of a fight over what chili pepper is better, red or green. Personally, I like green. The, uh, the slime is not going in the right direction though. See, I really should have got, that's why I'm not very good at pool. As long as it touches that, though. So we'll just... We'll kind of veer in towards the, the gravitational anti-grav tractor beam sphere here. Ooh, see? Gotta have some, uh... Need some more wand. 
So make go brew me some wand, peanut butter. Okay, there. Boom. See, that's that's actually not bad. And then, so this will come out. Boom. And then we'll do some red and green chili peppers. We'll do the ortole. So, and then I have this little thing over here. I just wanted to make sure that I did have it still because I was gonna show. Yeah, I was gonna show something. A little clue of, well, I guess it's, it's more than a clue. It's an outright sort of answer or solution to what the next episode and the last episode in the first collection is gonna be about. You know, actually, I'm gonna go, yes, that's better to start down here. It's a little off. From like this one, we don't want it necessarily, I didn't want it to be sort of the same exact length of the, the tractor being sort of power, power flow, I guess. I mean, it's all speculation what it would be anyway, so. So yeah, the, uh, nothing but ponchos, way too pricey. But I, I feel like he had the same spirit, creative spirit again, like that other dude where, you know, maybe he would, uh, I feel like we had a kinship where we were both, we both had this idea where it was like, dude, you can totally open a bakery called nothing, nothing bunt ponchos. Where you could have poncho, uh, themed bunt cakes. I mean, those would be hot. Hot off the press, those would sell like hotcakes. Or like poncho bunt cakes. Oh, I got really brave with that. Just kept going. Didn't stop, didn't hesitate. It's the power of peanut butter. I don't have, I've seen the bracelet power, so, or seen the wristband type power, so. Peanut butter gave me the power there. I'm thinking maybe I'll even do another yellow line there. It'd be interesting. But we gotta move on to the chili peppers. The red hot green and chili peppers. But yeah, the uh, nothing, nothing but ponchos. I know it's it's a little specific. It's it's pretty specific. But it's not much difference in the uh, seat. Refrigerator woke up. Dang. It. It doesn't stay asleep very long. It's like my my dad. It's like you think he's asleep, you're gonna grab the controller, you're gonna change change it from baseball to something different, anything. I mean, unless it's a playoff game, I guess. But I I sit there and watch it, but. Stupid refrigerator, anyway. I don't even know if I'm gonna be using the same brush. But, so we're super tired. From, so we decided to take a load off at this, this old tavern. It was like so, so, I think I'm not even, my head's probably, probably just seeing my face, I don't know. I just forget, cause it's tight quarters here in the paint cave. But we, so we take a load off, cause I'm getting out of breath. I mean, this place, we went to Santa Fe to get, to try to find a poncho. And that's apparently the highest capital in the US. I mean, yeah, you might be thinking it was, it's Denver, but we're talking about elevation. And this is like 7,200 feet. It's crazy. And it's the oldest capital, believe it or not. Santa Fe was founded in 1610 before it was even a state. Way, way before it was state, because it's like one of the youngest states. It's like the 36th state. And it's like the fifth largest, but it's like, gosh, like 47 or 36th in population. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, I think it was like 47th state in the union. I don't know how I remember all this stuff. I just did a little quick skim on Wikipedia, but man, it's just, it's not over there. I'm looking at the same that I'm going to be showing because I'm just thinking. Should I even show that? Maybe I should just surprise everyone in the second, in the sixth episode. Sorry, I'm getting, it's a little dry in here. Seems like. Okay, so now we just gotta move on to the chilies. We're moving back. We're moving over to the light olive green. Anybody who saw episode four, the Johnny, John Cena, I was about to say Johnny Cena. The John Cena episode, you know about that light olive green. We got really crazy on that M over there. Okay, so I'm not really necessarily sure what 
brush I should use. We're doing chili peppers, so we'll just kind of wing it here. So kind of bruising those knees again. All right, so. So we take a load off at this bar. Well, no, sorry, it's a tavern. It's a tavern, because it's so old they legally had to call it a tavern, I guess. Okay. We're gonna start, because we're gonna do multiple chilies. This is the first. I think I can get a little bit thicker with this. This is the really thick paint, as you can see. Probably the difference in paint density here. Now chilies, they don't, you know, they can have sort of different shapes. They're not necessarily all a uniform shape. Like you do kind of want sort of a, a point to your tip, but they can be they can be thick, they can be thin. We're gonna make this one long sort of sort of a mid-range thickness. So do a couple of these. So I'll do a couple of these and then we'll do, uh, I'm gonna put some dark green at the top for like the stem, sort of the, the cap, the stem part or whatever, I guess. I'm not really sure the anatomy of sort of chili peppers, you know, the right terminology. I'm trying to get a little bit more globular too because there's Quite frankly, there's, there's space. There's a little bit of yellow peeking through and we're trying to get, you know, it'd be interesting to have sort of that texture that, it'll sort of emulate a chili pepper's look, sort of more, somewhat semi more realistically. So it's the last night, finally, you know, it's the last night. Oh wait, no, we saw, yeah, I finally, we finally found this place. After taking a load off at the tavern, where the guy, again, another guy, a bartender, he's going on and on about uh, the tavern being haunted and to follow them on social. He kept calling it social. I, it's kind of annoying when they call it social. I don't know. I, but he, he, he was saying it a lot. And I really didn't believe him. It's like, I ain't afraid of no ghosts. You're probably thinking, oh, he must be, well, I told you I do like prefer the green chilies, but I might do a red chili too. So he's going on and on about the history, the haunted history of this tavern. And he's, he's going on and on about red, red and green chilies. Again, somebody else going on about red and green chilies. I was just kind of getting lost in, in, in the stuff in the, the in confused in his. He just wanted those servers that kind of wouldn't leave you alone. It's like they talk about sort of uh, servers in Paris in Paris, France being rude because they don't really attend to you. But it's like I just prefer to see me alone, you know. Just really, I got my drink. Like I know you're slow, but maybe just go talk to the bartender. I wasn't, you know, I wasn't trying to be rude. I wasn't rude. But I couldn't help myself when he was, he just kept going on about ghosts and haunted tavern and red and green chilies. I was like, did you ever, you ever stop and think? And, you know, I asked him, I was like, you ever stop and think maybe it was a, it's a ghost pepper? He didn't like that. He didn't like that. But I got him to talk, talk, talking. Okay, so we don't need that green anymore. So it's pretty good uh, green chili there. You got it. You got a bit though. It's pretty good green chili. I mean, I, it's making me, making my mouth water. Mixing some, some brushes. Now we've got to go, squirt some red. It's a little bit of red that we did have. See, I always end up using too much. Every time. Every time. Every stinking time. Now this red, I'll probably actually do two red chilies. You know, we'll keep it even. Keep it even so it's not like I'm leaning more towards red or green chili. Because I don't want, you know, anybody from the green, red and green chili wars to think, you know, this is, you know, 
it, it got so serious it was like you know I was I was thinking like if I did ask her to come with me she probably just been like uh sorry but I'm I'm a top level commander in the karaoke war or the karaoke wars and the red chili wars I'm a sergeant and you know we would our empire would fall I'm sorry I'm sorry babe I gotta stay so I'm gonna put a little bit of buttermilk I mean, that's a little, a little overly dramatic, a little somatic. It just kind of went through my head for just briefly as a possibility. Had a little chuckle. Had a little chuckle to myself at the time. See, I'm, I'm going to kind of lighten up the red. They're actually pretty stark red, the, the red chilies, but I just kind of feel like... Yeah, I feel like I probably got to put some red back. That that makes it look not like a red chili and like a pink chili. So that was that was a, that was an error on my part, you know. Just that's pretty good. Yeah, we brought it back to life, back to a deep red. Of course, there's a little bit of that buttermilk just snaking around there at the bottom. So I finally get to this place that has uh, affordable ponchos. It was, it was just a gas station. It's just a random gas station. It was, again though, it was petrol and, ponchos and petrol. It's like they, there's just poncho everywhere. I can't even find one. All right, so now it's, See, what's sad though is these red ones are not gonna be as uh, textury. They're gonna be a little flat. So I get this, you know, it's this rad poncho finally. The journey was complete, I found, I found it. And then, but then later I just, the last night there, of course we go to, well it's our cousin's birthday. And we're at another karaoke bar, well it's the same one. It's a cooler lounge. Hot lounge, it's hotter lounge, you should call it. But I'm gonna put a red one right here. And she, I just felt like really silly because I was the only one, you know, obviously, I guess, wearing a poncho. You know, and it's hot, it's hot, it's the hotter lounge. So, and then I kept getting the poncho and the chips and salsa. I'm surprised people, they weren't more angry because the chips and salsa were pretty good. And that's, that's chilly enough. But yeah, it was like, I don't know. I just, I'm just sitting there by myself because they're planning something. I don't know, it's, it's a lot of drama. Oh, oh, wait, let me make sure. Things happen, still good, still all good. Thank you for your butter. Good luck. Keeping things straight around here. All right, so. So I'm just sitting there at the bar, just fantasizing ponchos, pizzlebacks, everything that's gone on. And of course, I'm daydreaming about starting my own bar called Ponchos and Picklebacks. But then this, this fantasy is quickly, quickly shattered by this vision of of John Taffer from Bar Rescue just coming in and just, you know, just taking away all the golden key games and all the ponchos adorning the walls. It's like all the vintage pickle juice jars at every table. It's like, how, but, but how dare you? For shame, John, how dare you? How dare you get rid of the golden key games? Abs how, how, how absolutely dare you get rid of the golden key games, John? Come on, John. We're back to Golden Key. Okay, so there's a little bit of a texturiness to it, but it's, what, what, I'm trying to get globular there because this blue shows through. It doesn't really matter. All right. Definitely chili peppers, though. It's definitely red and green chili peppers. I'll tell you that much. They would pass, pass the test for sure, but man. Still thinking about John taking out the Golden Sea games. I mean, he never did. It was a fantasy. It was a daydream ruined by John Taffer, but 
You know, it's just, I was sitting there and it's like, man, all, the, all this talk of red and green chilies, I never saw one bowl of chili, of actual full-blown chili. Alright, so I'm going to use a dark green for the, 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 the chili popper topper, the chili toppers. The red and green chili toppers. Let's see, oh, there's a lot of white in there. I ended up using... So I'm going to forego use doing that white or the red circle here and the black circle there because they, I love the way it looks. Just got to put the tops on the chilies and we're just going to write, let's see, there wasn't as much space down here as I thought there was going to be. So I guess to put a little bit more in here, we're going to put ortolite. We'll put ortolite on this side at the bottom. That'll be fun. Okay, that, yeah, that's dry enough. So we'll put that green in there. Don't really need a lot for uh, chili pepper toppers. But I just want to make sure, because I know that there's something on this. I mean, you'll see, obviously. I mean, it's not, as you probably heard, it's like a piece of paper or something. But don't, this still a surprise. A stupid refrigerator. A lot of thickens and I'm dropping things again. Okay, so yeah, we'll use this size. Okay, whoosh. Again, my knees, man. Okay, so I know these are wet, but it's fine because we're just kind of, kind of, put like a little dome. Put a little, like, it's like a, it's like a green, dark, it's like a little beanie. It's a little, little scully cap on the red and green chili. You get globular. I just pulled that off. See, it's really tricky. I mean, these, the acrylics are elusive. The acrylics are elusive on elusive paint or not. Oh, nice. See, that actually pretty cool. I was like, I got wavy, but sometimes wavy, you benefit from that. All right, so one down, three to go. See, they actually look not like a scully cast, but sort of like those French, you know, speaking of the French, um, they look like those berets in a way, sort of like a really top, with a really big, like if someone pulled that, like the button part out at the top. See, it's more risky getting wet with the, because these are like the exact same consistency. These you can really get, you can get on top of these wet, as wet as you want, it seems like. See? Did you hear that? Refrigerator again. Okay. Alright, so. Try to do the same thing we did there. You know, there's not necessarily, you know, there's not a handbook on how to paint red, red and green chili tops. You just kind of gotta go from, from memory. It's like, I don't have the best memory. I don't really necessarily have a lot of memories of red and green chili pepper toppers. Or hats, I guess, you know, if you will, sort of metaphorically. Chili pepper hats, all right. So yeah, so beyond, you know, I'm sitting there. You know, I was fantasizing about the, uh, daydreaming about the ponchos and picklebacks. And, and I saw this sign on the wall which is a quote by the great Ernest, Ernest Hemingway, the author. And it said, you know, do what you do, do sober what you say you'll do drunk. I mean, it wasn't necessarily drunk, but I definitely was like in some weird fantasy about a bar, opening a bar for some reason. Quickly brought back down to earth by the golden tea chief, John Tapper. I get some dryness on there. I could just, I could just play it risky here. So beyond my ponchos and pickleback shattered dream, the uh, the karaoke turf war and red, red and green chili pepper war, really, you know, heating up. You know, no pun intended. Things were a little too spicy for my taste, if you will, so to speak. 
best way I could explain it. It's the most precise way to explain it. It was too spicy. Definitely for my taste. Boom. These turned out really nice. I mean, maybe they should just redo the Chili's logo with these red and green chilies. All right, so let me get these caps on. Almost there. Ooh, so I almost slapped myself with the palette. This painting so good it made me slap my palette. I mean, it's, it's okay. It's, it's not bad. It's, 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 it just turned out a little bit better, like like 10% better than I, I, I originally sort of anticipated. Like the odds makers, the odds makers downtown would have predicted, you know. It's like, I feel like I, I covered the spread, if you will. Which is, you know, it's, makes sense with the painting spread. You know, sometimes the stems can be thick. You, sometimes you got thick stems. Like you got thick stems, girl. All right, so space is spicy because of this, this whole situation. I just pictorialized it, dramatized it. It's like, there's an unsolved mystery. Why is space spicy? Well, it's the red and green chili peppers abducted from New Mexico, starting back with Roswell, which I don't even know the date of that. Sure. So we got one more thing. We're gonna go ahead and do, like I said, the orderly. We got plenty of red in there. Uh, I feel like with that one, well, no, we don't necessarily need to lighten it up. You need to lighten up, peanut butter. Ah, uh, just kidding. Uh huh. Rightly, cat. Wait, no. I don't. I don't. You can't do the key key, 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 key to her. She doesn't like the key key key. She doesn't like. We need to go kiki -ki -ki to her. She doesn't like Waikiki either. Surprising. I mean, who wouldn't like Waikiki? Like, I'd rather, I don't want to go to Kokomo. I want to go to Waikiki. I didn't say Kiki. I said Waikiki, peanut butter. All right, so I'm going to get a bigger brush. Not too big. You know, we don't get too rambunctious with our oil lay. That one's a little too wide. So we'll go with this one. This one's, yeah, it's been trusty. But then I feel like it's still somewhat, maybe too wide. I don't know. It, it can be tricky to, you know. Like sometimes you estimate it and it's, it's completely off. It's way bigger than you wanted. See, that's, they're basically the same. That's actually seems wider. Yeah, we use this one. We use that one. All right, so, man, my, my low backs, my low backs, uh, my knees, fall apart, trying to show everybody the secret of spicy space. See, can that, gotta be careful there. We don't wanna get the Swiss, I mean, again, this is uh, the old navy of ponchos, but still, it was uh, quite a quite of a quite a thing to get. All right, so let's scoop some of that up. Now, obviously, we're going to do this like the real time. I want to make sure this is sort of proportionally accurate. So just jump right in. It doesn't even matter there. Boom. All right. See, because um, exclam exclamatory. Um, words or phrases or whatever they have in Spanish it's uh, has that upside down exclamation part. I think there's actually a word. See, it's okay. There's a little transition uh, thing there, but it's fine. We'll put all those together, but it's, we'll be together already. But All right, so now we just got to do the O. O's are easy. Not as easy as the ease. We've talked about that. All right. All right we're going to have to tighten that up towards the end. All right, so where are we at now? So, yes, let's have some look, look, look good that looks. Okay. So, we got to do the R. So, yeah, I mean, it was, uh, you know, this girl taught me many things. 
Now, sadly, you know, it was time to go, like I said. Things were too spicy. And I had to leave. You know, it was uh, between, you know, the, the karaoke, chili war, all that stuff. It was, you know, it's time for me to, it's my cue to leave. But, well, primarily I had to, I had a flight schedule. That's really the main reason. Well, I couldn't wait to get home in general, too. It's really hard to go number two when you're in a strange place. You get really backed up. I think some people can attest to that, uh, frequent travelers. Okay, there we go. So we're on a nice path. All right, just gotta do the, let me make sure. It says it right at the top of the math book. Okay, it's an A. It's not hard there, so. <clears throat> All right. Yes, yeah, you taught me many things. You know, to reiterate, she rekindled my love of raps. You know, even, even like, I had this weird hatred for like saran wrap and foil wrap too. It was like, and that was gone. That was gone when she took me to beat ups. You know, she taught, she taught me the magic of soothing the burning sensation of a whiskey shot in the throat with a, with the briny juice of a pickle. Of a pickle, of a, the juice of a pickle. Very, is this, you know, it's something I'll just never forget. But it's like, I love pickle juice, but I also love the burn, because we've said why, and so it's quite the conundrum. It's quite the conundrum. You know, she also taught me how to love myself unconditionally. And, you know, to be more forgiving and just loving in general of myself, you know, and, and she, but she also taught me how to Dougie, which was really the coolest thing because of my dancing skills. She saw the way I danced and she was like, I got to teach this, this kid how to Dougie or something. I don't know. Like I didn't even have to ask her. She just, she just did it. Like it wasn't like the song where they, it's like, teach me how she just did it. She's very generous, very generous, again, very generous woman. But sadly, okay, so I gotta do an E. But it's, it, they do it in lowercase E, see? It's almost like what I did, where I just had random letters for lowercase up in the logo painting. So again, there's a synchronicity. The guy that designed this matchbook, these matches were kind of kindred paint spirits. Okay, so I wanted that to be a little bit closer, but it's okay. It's always okay. A little bit more, there we go. So, so yeah, sadly, you know, dugging isn't, so I'm always knocking things around. It's very sensitive, very sensitive equipment around here. So, you know, see, uh, Dang, how did I get so far off with the E? It's like Orale, Orale. I think there's an accent on something too. Yeah, over the O. Okay, so I gotta do an accent over the O. I think it's an accent. I mean, again, see, I'm not, I'm not the best researcher. Like I said, I just skimmed over Wikipedia for the, uh, some of those Santa Fe facts. Or New Mexico. Oh, okay. There you go. It's more in the spirit of what it's saying, I guess. So. All right. Let's see. We just got to do that exclamation point, and then we try to leave myself a room to sign it. So I'm gonna do the little the shaft of the exclamation first. There we go. Very simple. But yeah, sadly, dugging is not like riding a bike. So it didn't take long. I lost the ability to dugie. Unfortunately. But you know, things happen. 
It's very enchanted. It's a very enchanting place. Got to learn, you know, briefly how to Dougie. And, you know, it was worth, it was worth the brief, the brief amount of time. <clears throat> Whew. What a journey this was. Hmm. You step back. I'm almost thinking I shouldn't have did the orally, but it's fine. Cause I mean, there's, I don't know what, it seems like there needs to be something up here, but it's like, I guess I could put New Mexico. I could just straight write New Mexico out. But I don't know, there's really almost no point necessarily. I mean, I could do that off camera. It's, I mean, it is what it is. That's what it is. That's the painting. That was New Mexico. Episode number five, part three, part trace. I hope the painting and the paint is good. All right, Pinnabar, you gotta go for a ride for a second. Gotta go for a ride. This is a short one. Are you gonna take this sucker? Oh, wait. No, hold on. Stay there. Stay there. Good girl. Good sit. Good dog. Okay. I almost forgot. We're actually gonna do it this time. We're actually gonna do it this time. You know what, maybe I'll just put the signature up there and that sort of uh, take up some of that space. Maybe we get a little bit more willy-nilly with the signature, have a little bit more fun with it. It's more of an initial. It's like those annoying, you know, when they get to do something as a doctor and they make you initial, like 50 things. Like, like I've never had the right two letters so many times, over and over. This questionnaire is way too long. Okay, so we just get over here. Okay, I don't know, this seems, every time, this seems seem too thick. See, I don't know if you hear that. It's, it's very subtle, but the people downstairs, man, people under the stairs, are always bumping, bumping and grinding. Be genuine. It's very quiet when the refrigerator is sleeping. When Buzzy's asleep, he'll be asleep all all night, and all of a sudden, just bust on like like just willy nilly. We talk we talk about willy nilly. It's a willy nilly situation, and and it freaks me out. It's in the middle of the night. I don't know what's going on. I'm like, oh, it's just it's just Buzzy. Just fuzzy, waking up, stupid freaking. I know it sounds insane, but I mean, it is kind of insane to anthropomorphize a refrigerator for crying out loud. See, that kind of turned out weird, like. But definitely not, not what I was going for. This is only the third time I've done this. I mean, it's kind of like, it's like, what's that thing of it? A little nook and cran, a little nook and cran, a little nook on the cranny there or something. I'm, but it's okay. It's like, it's, it's pretty interesting. It's, it's like, it's weird. It's weird. It's odd. It's, it makes people scratch their heads. You want head scratchers. You don't want, you want head scratchers. That's, that's what I'm, I'm aiming for. Head scratchers. My head kind of needs to scratch this, this thing, but okay, so peanut butter, peanut butter going for the ride of lifetime. Episode five is now into bed. Take a seat, girl, and clap your hands. Orderly. Bacho. So we got the UFO. Spice. Space is spicy, folks. We talked about it. Ooh. I think I got something on this paint. Er, it's better than salsa though. I mean, it's, I don't get paint on it than salsa. Uh, being a dual painting, this probably isn't, you know, in, in, in episode six, it's really gonna, you know, you'll see. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll move it up to make it, you know, more acceptable, acceptable, 
Oh man, see, that's what happened. I don't know how it freaking had red paint. Why, why was there even moist red paint on there? Did I touch something red? It's fine though, because I'll, I'll just paint some yellow over that. It's a real easy fix. Real easy fix. Yeah, you can pretty much see the whole thing easily. Yeah, I just had to check that. All right. So, and here's the uh, little special surprise. Well, it's kind of a spoiler in a way, but it's good to know what's coming up. I like to be informative. Um, so, we've talked a lot. You know, this isn't going to be a drab. This ep next episode, episode six, is not going to be a drab, you know, square episode. But, you know, we, we have talked about a lot of, you know, things that maybe as adults should only be doing or stuff. You know, we drinking and, and, and curious mints and spaghetti flavored cigarettes and uh, teriyaki madness. I mean, things that can be addictive. Uh, you know, we've talked about Crashy. You know, we were worried about her actually crashing through the patio when we were in New Mexico. Another reason we really wanted to get back as soon as possible. So we're going to talk a little bit about, you know, some of the warnings, but we're still going to have fun with it. We're keep it light. So we're going to talk about, well, and the painting is going to be essentially about their drug abuse, resistance, education. Everybody's heard of it. And so we're going to do this painting, uh, sort of, we're going to do another black one and it's going to be another sort of a uh, horizontal setup. And we'll do the dare thing, and then we'll do things around it, like more Jimmy Grams or pictograms, whatever you want to call them. And we'll do, uh, you know, things to avoid, things that can become addictive, you know. Candy Crush. Um, maybe that's a little dated reference, but I've heard people still playing. I mean, I've, I've seen people on my break, and they're like, I hear, I swear, I hear Candy Crush sound effects. Uh, so, and you know, things like maybe Big Macs or something. I don't know. I'm probably not going to draw a Big Mac. I could draw a burger. I mean, we've proved I can draw a UFO. It's pretty decent. Pretty decent, pretty decent UFO. Red chili, red and green chili peppers. So remember, happiness never decreases from being shared. Thanks, peanut butter, for being our inspiration. Well, you know, our motivation and our inspiration was the matchbooks and the trip. You know what I'm saying. So, all right. So, thanks for joining us once again. And uh, we'll be back for the Dare episode, episode six. We can finish out the first collection and then we'll make some improvements, hopefully, you know, maybe in the off season. Uh, this time, I'm not going to accidentally press the uh, button, but it's not going to ever, it doesn't ever work exactly the way I planned it. So, again, thanks for joining us. Happiness never lost from being cared. Thanks for joining us on Novice Painting with Novice Painter, Jimmy Novice. I'm Jimmy Novice, the Novice Painter.